The goal of Content Map is to try and understand how we recognize objects. We go about every day in our lives and we, we essentially are always recognizing objects that we see in our environment. And the question is how do you do that? Um, we are very, very efficient at doing it. We do it very, very fast, but it's an extremely complex task actually, if we think about it. So let's think about a table. There's plenty of glasses on top of a table, a typical table. How do you know that everything that's over there, it's a glass? You might have wine glasses, you might have water glasses. How do you know that? You might have a plastic glass, you might have a, a, a glass that's made of, well, glass. Um, how do you do that? And that is what Content Map wants to do. Um, and, and to do that, what we think is happening is that the way in which information that we hold about these objects is organized in the brain is the key to understand how we recognize objects so efficiently. And that's what we're doing in Content Map. We're trying to understand what is the organization of knowledge in the brain of all the information we have about objects in real objects in the world, the objects that, we, that you use every day. The way we do that is we use um, magnetic resonance imaging, so MRI, to understand in individuals' brain, in the brains of individuals, how information is organized. We show them images of objects, we, we look at how um, those images elicit responses in the brain, and with that we can understand how different types of objects with different properties lead to different types of responses. I decided to apply because I had to apply. It was what I wanted to do. It was my goal. Um, I wanted to, to get an ERC mainly because uh, that meant that uh, my project, Content Map, the ideas were validated by my peers. And, and that meant that the, the project made sense. And I really believe in this project. That's why I, I applied. Uh, again, it was not easy. Uh, there's, there's a lot of uh, writing. There's a lot of things that go on. Um, you are going to be dedicated to, to writing a project. I did it three times. The third time was a charm, um, but it's not easy. Um, uh, there's frustration, obviously, as always, I guess, but there's frustration and you just have to deal with that uh, and, and, and believe in yourself and believe in the project. If you do believe in the project, that's the first step. Um, and take advantage, take advantage of what people can give you all the resources you have at the University now, at, at, at University of Coimbra, um, and, and never give up. Um, that's what I can tell you. And, and there's nothing you lose uh, about if you, if you want to apply. Applying takes time, for sure. Uh, but it also gives you uh, the opportunity to reflect on your ideas, to perfect your ideas. Uh, and that's, that was very important. Even uh, the times that I didn't get it, the two times I didn't get it, they allowed me to then uh, apply to other grants uh, with, with projects that were super strong. Um, so there's no reason for not to apply. Just, just do it.